Hello, Gel Press friends, Marjolaine Simard Walker here, and today I'm going to do a technique using acrylic paint and some vinegar and some baking soda. The goal here is to create a bit of a texture paint and have a little bit of a chalk paint finish. So I've been experimenting a bit and I'm going to experiment a little more on some paper before I put um, the prints in my Bible. And so I've just put some acrylic paint on the border plate, the Faith Impression border plate. And then I'm covering it up with baking soda. And it has a different finish depending on how much baking soda I put on. And I'll also be adding some vinegar to other prints. So here I'm going to spray a little bit of vinegar on the plate and I happen to be using double strength cleaning vinegar. I, I don't think it makes a difference but that is what I'm using, that's all I had. I was showing you that the vinegar caused the paint to bubble up quite a bit which I think really added a cool texture to the print. So here I'm just showing you the prints that I made off camera. This is the first one I did and it really has a nice um, look of texture paint. And then this second one, it was the second pull and it, it has a crackle effect, effect that I just couldn't really catch on camera, but it was really, really cool. And then the third one I did with the leftover paint. So on this set of prints, I had used the vinegar. I love how it looks a little bit like watercolor paint, but it also looks like a, a plaster wall that's been kind of flaking away. Just love how these turned out. And this one was just me cleaning up my plate with extra vinegar. So on this one, I added quite a bit more of the baking soda because I want it to look like a thicker paint and I think it worked out quite nicely. So now I'm going to move on to making my Bible journaling entry. So I'm using one of the border plates in the Faith Impressions kit. And this time I'm going to add multiple colors and see how that looks. And I'm also using the 4 inch economy brayer from Gel Press to roll the paint and baking soda onto my plate. turned out really well and I'm especially loving the second pull from this.
And here I realized that I forgot to use the texture plate that I wanted to use, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just make some patterns on the surface of my previous print. I really hope you can see how cool this effect is. I know it's hard to see on camera, but I really, really love it. So now I'm going to add a title to my page and it's called Feathers for Arrows. And I got this when I was looking for a Bible verse about feathers and arrows. There was, of course, pretty much only one, I think, in Psalm 91. Um, but when I read Feathers for Arrows, I just knew there was a message in it for me, even though I had no idea what it meant. It's a book title for a, a book by Charles Spurgeon. And it has to do with something called fletching. And so when I see feathers on an arrow, I always assumed that it was to make the arrow go faster, but actually it's the opposite of that. The fletching helps to stabilize the arrow while in flight, correcting any small variations that could take it off course or cause it to not hit a target directly. The fletching generates a small amount of drag which slightly slows down the arrow but also ensures that it flies straight. So why am I blabbing about all this? Well, because I think my life is kind of like that. Um, I think that sometimes I just need something to slow me down so that I can go straight and go in the right direction that I'm supposed to go. And so anyways, feathers for arrows. I'll be looking into that a little bit more um, in my own study time. But for now, I just know there's a message in it for me and maybe there's a message in it for you. And now I just use my Signal White gel pen to outline the letters and I'm gonna add a few of these really cool arrows and feather stickers and then I'll be done. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll try out some baking soda with your next acrylic paint project and gel press. And if you like the video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the Gel Press channel and I will see you next time. Bye!